Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Who Should You Choose? Sorry for not uploading one yesterday. I was a little busy uh, with the broadcast and I have another one tonight, so I'm trying to get this video out as early as possible for you guys. But <clears throat> I want to do uh, something a little bit different for this episode. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the link um, to this video on my Twitter. The link is down below as far as my Twitter is concerned. All you've got to do is go find that tweet. Give me a follow on Twitter and then reply to it there. I want to try something out just for the format of this video and see if it uh, helps things a little bit. Let's get into today's video in terms of who should you choose. So again, these are the videos where I go over all of your comments in my video, my previous video and tell you guys who I think that you should start by uh, switching up and changing out. So let's get into today's questions. This one's going to be from Matthew Brock. Started HUD about a month ago. Your vids, vids have helped a ton. Any players you'd recommend selling and replacing? The caps are untradeable. All right, so we go down here and we take a look at his lineup real quick. In terms of untradeable, he's got a 95 Lemieux, 88 Saad, Solani, Carlson, and Clark, as long as Wilson. All right, so just quickly looking at it, you really need to get your first pair, first and second line wingers. Um, so what I would do is probably sell this entire fourth line and save any coins you have to try and get a um, even sod. Uh, try and get at least a ninety or something overall winger card. Um, you know, again, once you have the amount of coins, and once I know how many coins you have, then I can kind of give you a better. Uh, better answer here but um just again for how i recommend building your team i would go first th first two lines and then your first line on defense then your third line on offense then your second line on defense then your third line on defense and then your fourth line um, but your goaltending is fine uh, then you really need to work on your defense your your left side here isn't bad but the right side needs work so hope that helps moving on we've got uh Hellman. Uh, 99, 96 Natanen or the 97 Benino. Ooh, I still like the Benino in this case. Looking for a good right-handed defenseman under 90K. All right, guys, so for these ones, um, again, I'm just trying to make the videos as quick as possible. Go and search for me, and then from that under 90K right defenseman, Tell me, give me a few options, okay? I want to try and get away from the broadness of it because it changes all the time. Right? You could watch this video or people could watch this video in three weeks and 90K is completely different. So uh, for the future, guys, if you have a, a coin question, just go to the auction house. And if you guys don't know how to search by price, let me know in the comments and I'll be able to you know, make a point of the video. But um, search and then give me some options that you think that are interesting and then I can choose between those two. This one's from DJ177. Hi, I have a small dilemma. I currently have 1.5 mil with a strong first two forward lines, 97-99. But weak third and fourth in all in the high 80s, low 90s. Similar story on defense. My worst players are all untradeable. Do you think I should keep my coins as prices are dropping a lot? Or should I spend my coins on the top players and keep them for the rest of the game? I want to buy some top guys. Okay, so here's um, here's my thought on this. So we're almost at the end of the game, to be honest with you. The summer months, uh, the game is obviously at its very end, and then there'll be, you know, assuming that there's, like, it works like last year where there's beta, uh, there's a beta, so that takes up a good solid two to three weeks. And then August is really the dead month of this game. We're kind of getting into that. I wouldn't save my coins any longer. You've got 1.5 mil, which is sick. I would just start blowing it. Go and get who you want as uh, we're getting near the end of the game. This one comes from Noah Lund Ludden. Uh, my defense is the worst part of my team for sure. It's hard for me to upgrade to them because I always feel like I need a forward or a goalie. My team is 95 Gartner, 95 uh, Thomas, 95 Lucic, 94 Anchuk, Monahan, Zaka, Fenisenkov, Shirella, Gillies, Carter, Nobles, and Martelo. And then he's got 92 Bouchard and I Frady, Hamilton and Lindholm, <sighs> Commodore and Sabolskis. So I only have 70k at the moment, not a lot to make a massive upgrade, but I know my defense is lackluster compared to the rest of my team. Who should I sell and upgrading first? Sorry for the complicated question. Okay, so again, first line isn't bad, the Gartner, Thomas, and Lucic. And the second line is not bad either, to be honest with you. Um, and his first pairing defense isn't bad. I would really, you really need to start working on your second and third pairing defense because you can get away with the Fenisenkov, Shirelli, and Gillies, um, but I would really upgrade that second and then third pairing uh, defense, although Sabolski's is pretty good. 
Moving on to Sean Doyle Hastily. He's been turning to the stream most, most of last and this week, and I've been really enjoying him. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Again, guys, I stream 9 a.m. to about 3 a.m. PM Eastern time. I might be changing the schedule up in a little while, but if you have any questions you want answered immediately, regardless of the game I'm playing, whether it's Valon or MLB or NHL, I'll answer your questions in my Twitch chat live. Link is down below. Uh, I currently have 70,000 coins. I don't know where to upgrade my team at the moment. This is my current team. Thanks in advance. All right, so Melonby, Gretzky, Melonby, Melonby, Gretzky, Kucherov, McKin oh, Okay, so it's right here. This is what you need to work on first. Um, you really need a second line, um, specifically wingers, okay? Um, it looks like you have a mostly a base card team, but your first two forward lines are always going to be your most important because that's where your offense is all going to come from. You can get away from weaker defensemen um, just by based on good positioning and whatnot. So uh, you really need to upgrade your two wingers here. McDavid actually isn't bad um, as a base card just because he has high speed. McKinnon isn't either, but I've always found the McKinnon cards to play kind of crap. Uh, so look for upgrading your wingers first. That's where I would spend my coins. All right, 88 Shara or the 89 Dougie Hamilton. Ugh. Well, they play different sides, so it would depend on the handedness, Domsky. I would, st I would go, man, Chara's going to be kind of... Honestly, I think I would go Hamilton in this case just because of how the, the game plays right now and a, a slow Chara. Like, Chara's really good, but he's a little bit slower um, unless you have, like, the 93 version, which is, like, 95 skating. Um, I would probably go Hamilton in this case. My hug. Hey, man, I have a 91 fantasy Tara Vine and I was wondering if I should sell him or not since the season might or not might not be returning. Honestly, if, by the time it returns, it'd be, G it'd be July, um, so I would sell him for sure. 95 Settler or Busick? Oof. I really like the dislike the Busick cards. I would go Settler. Not both aren't uh, that appealing to me to be honest with you, but um I played with the 95 Busick this season and specifically last season and really did not like him. Jimmy Chill, I heard the 93 Dawes I had the 93 Dawes. He was doing phenomenal. So I sold him to pick up Joel Hoff for Flash Rig. It was cheaper and had the exact same height and almost identical stats, but he weighs 30 pounds less. Worst goal I've ever had. My team is currently 95 overall things. Still a lot of synergies. Should I sell Hoffer and use my untradable 93 overall Halak as my starter while I upgrade? Uh, Halak, 100% do not put Halak in net. Um, not big enough. I would go with... If he if, da, if Hoffer is not working for you... Um, I'm, again, I'm going to revert back to this always. Go go with the 91 Mike Smith. There's multiple options for him. Even like the John Gibson. Uh, you just look for around 100K goaltender. There's quite a few out there. Even the, I think the 90 All-Star game Markstrom uh, might work for you as well. But if he's not working for you, you don't want to blow your money on another one. But I would not use Halak. So it comes from Dylan Place. Should I sell my 95 Pedersen for 95 Line 8 or should I keep Pedersen? Uh, all depends on what side of the wing you play. They play two different positions, so if you need a righty, then obviously you go line A. If you need a lefty, you go Pedersen. I do not like Pedersen cards just because they play so slender. Even though he's tall, I find that he gets bumped off the puck really easily, uh, but I know I also know a lot of people that love him. Um, I would go line A. That's a personal opinion, but I think the 95 line A is just better build all around um, at that at that height. From Pandemonium, I've been playing Hunt for about three weeks now. Would like to have, like some help with my team since I'm so far behind. Any tips you can give, or even just a good budget cards to pick up, would be awesome. I have twenty five thousand coins. Here is my team. Okay, so he's got the ninety three Jokinen, Forsberg, Oshi, uh, Ovechkin, McDavid, Ori, Lad, Crosby, Marner. Okay, so a lot of base cards. So you really need a. Um, a second line for wingers. What I would do is, I've said this multiple times, just go into the auction house and then sort by the winter national event. That event is full of high skating, high shooting cards for a very cheap price. So um, just go and look through there because you need it all positions. Uh, I don't want to tell you just one specific card to go get. So if you have 25,000 coins, you're probably going to be able to get one. But just keep playing squad battles every week. Keep playing um, rivals as much as you can. You're going to get a ton of packs. And for you, I would take the untradeable version because you'll get um, double the packs for those rewards. And in those double packs, A, because your team's so low, you have a chance of upgrading your team just based off that. And then B, you can turn those into gold collectibles if you don't have any use for the cards. 
This comes from Iceberg. Bro, why do you got any hut cards? You Do you have any cut cards you'd give away? No, giveaways are against the terms of service, boys. You'll get nipped by EA. I'm also a game changer, so I can't give anything away. <laughs> Tion, great content. Thanks, man. Great comment. This comes from Carrick. Looking for a right-handed center and deciding between spending 250k for the team of the week, Mika Zabinajad, or saving up and spending 400k for the Matt Sundin. I don't have any pressing needs on my team, but the extra 200k upgrade on one of my guys in my second pairing for my 89 to 93, which isn't nothing. Okay, so... Hmm... The Matt Sundin is an extremely good centerman card. I'll say that. But Zabinijad, also a very, very good card. If 250k for the Zabinijad and then you have all that extra coin, I would probably go and then upgrade your second pairing um, for sure. That's what I would do in this case. If your second pairing is 89s, then yeah, I would take the Zabinijad, take the extra coins, and then upgrade that defense. This one comes from Silver Wolves. You should recommend the 94 Koivu more. The Koivu more. This guy is insane. Pretty cheap also. For sure, though, the Hockey Nation's Miku Koivu is really, really good. Big Ruth, got a question for you today. I recently packed a 94, 95 Team of the Week, Seth Jarvis, 5'9", 165. From experience, I know the new card prices jump up a few days after they're at a pack, so I was going to wait to sell them for max value. My fourth line winger was meta, but 90 overall. I put Jarvis in to try. At what point Slavis is willing to replace the meta with anti-meta? How many overall points? Okay, so I think what he's asking is, is there an overall at which little guys are fine and can be used competitively in NHL 20? So, um, honestly, there is no reason until progression is fixed, and this is a future NHL problem, and hopefully they fix it this year. Progression in how the the stats work and they upgrade, there is no reason to use a five foot nine forward um, because... With the benefits of having someone smaller, which would be like more agility, being able to you know move quicker, deke well, the big guys can do, and the big guys can also just hammer the right stick up and bump you off the puck with no speed, which is the problem in this game, and why I keep telling you guys about how you need to the, the size in these guys matters. There is no way I would play with the set Jarvis, and if you unless you are really really enjoying it, I would one hundred percent sell this card. Um, for whoever wants to buy him and then replace him with someone much bigger for sure man so it comes from brandon kelly i love the vids i have 25 icons i'm not sure what to do with them tempted to make the 99 mario since he's so dominant but not sure if you'd recommend a winger or defensive below is my team i also have 450k okay the 98 leash that's a small guy Okay, 98 Giroux, 98 uh, kuznetsov gartner uh nikas and lafreniere Kessel, Forsberg, Kane, Zabinajad, Matthews, Ferrar. Wow, this is a pretty good team. Um, Makar, Yossi, Doughty, Bean, Truba, OEL. Hmm. Your defense really lacks size, uh, but... Man, your first two... So, let's do the math here. So, I mean, I'm assuming this... If this Lacey is untradeable, sell him and go get somebody else. Uh, there's... He's a good card in terms of stats, but again, it's a size thing. Go and get whoever else you want that's, you know, he's still going to go for quite a bit, but I would go with whatever other master set player that you can get. Um, if you have 25, I mean, yeah, the 99 Mario is not even in your lineup. I would for sure, because he would be your first line, in my opinion, I put him on the wing, first line left winger i would 100 percent you 25 icons go and make mario yeah he would be the one that is worth it for sure because i'd bump everyone down yeah go make that mario dab a sleeves i've been in a weird spot lately in the hut i'm sitting on 200k coins and i'm not sure what i want to upgrade my team is as follows x are untradeable all right so mario whoops mario datsu gretzky how kopitar laugh Lafreniere, Joe Newendike, Modano, Kolchuk, Dry Settled, Naslin. That's a really good team. Uh, then we've got Chelios, Coffee, Carlson, Scott Niedemeyer, Burns, and Bomeister. Was thinking of replacing Scott Needs with someone who had a better shot. Was thinking of the 99 Bork or the 97 Pronger. Okay, right there. The Pronger is the best, one of the best defenseman cards in the game, only possibly beat by the 99 Headman. 
Plays really well for me and is in the, always in the right spot, so it seems I'm unsure what to need to do. I was thinking of going for the 97 Yager, which would result in me saving up for a week and then selling Naslin. I could also replace Kovalchuk as he is the lowest overall on my team. If you think I should, who do you suggest? I'm also wondering if your upgrading Lafleur is worth it or not. Does he have a feel? Does he play better, feel stronger? I know there's a lot of information, but let's take okay. So let's just take a look at the team one more time. The weaknesses in in here, I mean, there really isn't any weakness here. Like this is a perfectly fine top six. And then you go down here, and he's got the 96 Chelios, 97 Coffee. There is a lot more cards I would rather have than 96 Chelios. So. Um, Chelios is probably where I would start. Niedermeyer is a fine defenseman, and he's going to play in your second pairing, but there's a lot of other defensemen I would rather have than Chelios, so, um, whether it be, like, a, a high Seth Jones, um, or upgrading, I mean, can't really do that, um, but there, I would go and look for a really expensive right-handed defenseman, um, that's where I would start, for sure. Guillaume Morel, thanks for the answer last time. Who should I buy, 97 Pronger, 97 Coffee, the 93 Char? 100% the 97 Pronger. This one comes from Violence Ed. 91 Smith did not work for me at all, but who would you choose, 91 Sogard or 91 Koskinen? Also, 97 Barry or the 90 Myers? Thanks, boss. That's a really good question. 97 Barry or the 90 Myers? Uh, depends what pairing he's playing on. If he's playing on your first pairing, I would... Like, the size difference. He's almost a foot taller, and I have the Myers, and he bumps everyone off the puck. It depends who Barry is paired with. If you have Hedman, um, Chara, uh, any of the big boys that are that are left-handed, I would go with the Barry over Myers just because his shot is damn near perfect, whereas Myers' shot is just a it, – it'll get to the net, but it <laughs> you'll be lucky if it hits the net. Um, in this question, 91 Sogard or Koskinen, so I haven't actually used – the, either of these now if smith didn't work then i would go sogar just because of uh stats and whatnot i like him a little bit more um i would try sogard first but if he doesn't work either it might be a defensive thing okay this one goes from jamza hey good right-handed wingers for 110k okay so just like the question down below guys give me go and search the auction house for 110k right-handed winger and then give me give me an option to choose between because if I answer all these ones, these are going to turn into like two hour long videos, and that's what I'm trying to avoid by getting into all of your questions. Hey, man, I appreciate you pumping out these videos in these trying times. They help keep my mind off things. Hey, man, I appreciate that, dude, definitely. And I hope you're staying safe. I have a pretty stacked team, bunch of gold collectibles, 17, I think, and about 400K in the bank. That weird flex. Zetterberg is one of my favorite players of this era, and I have the 89 Koozie card, which would give me a nice discount on him, but my holes aren't really up front. Let's take a look at his forwards. So he's got the 99 Lemieux, 99 Dreisaitl, 99 McDavid, Lafleur, Gretzky, and Beliveau. Yeah, so no kidding. He doesn't have any holes up front. Then he's got 98 Howe, Forsberg, and Rossi, Zibby, Spets, and Malkin. Wow, okay, that's a good forward group. Defensively, I mean, we're talking about holes. He's got 99 Burns, 97 Coffee, with 97 Pronger, and Latang, Troub, and Poirier. Should I grab the discounted seat now, bump Rossi down to the fourth line center, and Gretzky to the wing, or save up the collectibles and hope for an upgrade on D in the next update. I know it's a bit of a luxury problem, but I'm bad at pulling the trigger on these kinds of things. Okay, first of all, I've said this multiple times. This is Hockey Ultimate Team. If you have a favorite player, go and get him. I, regardless of, you know, play style or whatever, I usually end up with Evgeny Nabokov as my starting goaltender, and I put, you know, Timo Meyer in my lineup regardless every single year just because I'm a Sharks fan. And same with Marlowe. So always go with your favorite players, boys. So I would go and upgrade... Zetterberg, and yeah, that would bump Rossi down, and then Spezza more than likely out of the lineup, and that's what I would do. I mean, you have an embarrassment of riches. You're, the only, all that you're upgrading now is your literally your fourth line and your third pair of defensemen. Go with who you like as your favorite, man. Great team, by the way. This is from Biggerin. Hey, Sleeves, love the content. Hoping to see NFL, NHL playoff hockey back soon. Same, dude. Well, not for my Sharks. Should I choose either the 95 Yasperi Kotkin Yemi or the 94 Kessler to replace my 91 Peter Verona since I have the 99 Lone Zeta right there now. Or go for any upgrade on my fourth line center and third line D pairing. I have 283 coins after rival awards. Here's my team. Okay, should I re I could either replace... Cho should I choose either Kotkin Yemi or Kessler to replace the 91? Okay, so if we look down here... Hmm... 
I would not go with a center replacement here. Um, I would go with upgrading your wingers after your first line. So this side is is kind of weak compared to everywhere else. So Radulov and Hosa, um, I would go with. Uh, I would try and upgrade here before you do fourth line center and third line D pairing because this is fine. That's serviceable, but you need a better right-handed winger to play as an upgrade as you keep going. So I would worry about your right wingers, especially considering Zetterberg is alone. So definitely this right side. Paul Gravakis. Thanks to answer my last question. No problem, man. Who do you think the remaining Master Set players might be? You already mentioned Kessel or someone from Pittsburgh. I was thinking Blackhawk would be, but who? So who I really think is, uh, there hasn't been a goaltender yet, and I'm almost positive there will be at least one. So that leaves a couple of options. Whether I, it, It's tough because I thought that would be Jonathan Quick, but they chose Kopitar, so it won't be, it won't be a king. Um, I do think there'll be a Blackhawk and a Penguin 100%. So that narrows it down to essentially... Um, either Kessel or Malkin for Pittsburgh, or Murray. It could be Murray. Um, or it's going to be Duncan Keith, I think. I think Duncan Keith is 100% the Blackhawk one. I don't see any reason as to why it wouldn't be. He doesn't have a master set item anywhere else, and Taves and Kane have also had multiple. So I think Duncan Keith is 100% the... the uh, the defenseman f- or the the Chicago one, but again, I'm just guessing here. I also think there will be a blue, which would probably be O'Reilly. I did the 88 icon set because there were a few players I wanted to get to upgrade and got Pronger. That's nuts. I'm two gold collectibles away short of the 92. I was planning on buying the 75k pack in the store for two gold collectibles. This is a good idea. Should I buy 100 gold players for the collectibles, or should I skip the 97 complete and go straight to the 97? Okay, you should just should just hold off and get the 97. Um, just keep saving. And again, buying the 75k pack in the store for two gold collectibles is actually worth it if you are going to make sure that you upgrade because they're going to be untradeable, I believe. So the icon collectibles will help, or the collectibles will help you out perfect, um, and they they go for you know roughly around 40, 50k. So I would for sure um, buy those if in in your set in your case. This is one of you can give me advice on where to upgrade. My team is about 90 overall after a month of playing. I've stockpiled about 200k, and I'm wondering where I should go for an improvement. I target the Anisimov card, like you always talk about, and plan on trying to land him in the near future. However, my D needs help as well, so I'm a bit torn. Also, hoping to upgrade Stastny to gold and Lemieux to the 95 in the future. Thanks a lot. Love the content. Thanks, man. All right, so take a look at his team. Probert, we've mentioned him a bunch. I love the Bob Probert cards. Lemieux and Hirano, LeBanc, Stastny, uh, Pajanami. And then Marlowe, Mark Bell, O'Ri, Leclerc, Trache, and McDavid. All right, so then Sakara, Common. Yeah, defense 100% needs to be your focus. Um, I would go into the playoff card. I mean, honestly, I'm going to say this again. The Winter National is where you're going to sp- save a lot, but you have 200K, so you can kind of go with someone a bit more. If you want to like kind of spread things out, the Martin Morenson from uh, the Winter National event, all those Winter National cards, there's a lot of good defense in one. That's Sabalski's one as well. I would get start there because you really need to upgrade your defense. You're going to get blown by if you play anyone with a decent team at this point. So for sure, um, I would grab your first pairing defense pairing, and then or, and then... Oh, your forward group is kind of low too, though. Honestly, your forward group can get by though. This can't, in my opinion. So the the defense can't. So Horace Silver, hey man, uh, regular commenter, appreciate it, dude. Hey, no sleeves. I got. I know my defense is more important than goalies, but still looking for an upgrade. I have the ninety flashback Miller, and the Nations of Hockey ninety two Varlamov. I do notice difference in lower aggression as Miller saves more one timers. That is uh, for anyone that's new here. The aggression stat changed this year to almost be like a um, a personality. So. The more, the lower the aggression, the lower he'll sit in the net and not challenge as much, which means he can get laterally over quicker. Now, because the meta is all cross ice one timers in NHL 20, way more than it's ever been, um, the lower aggression goaltenders will save more because they can get across more. The high aggression ones will stop more short side wristers and D to D one timers, but they have a hard time getting across and cutting down the angle because they play out further. So when they have higher aggression, so just wanted to mark that off. I do notice the difference in low aggression as Miller says from one time. Need your opinion on high end Markstrom cards, 94 to 96, compared to other top goalies with low aggression, Dawson, Newton, Blackwood, Hart. 
Although Marksman build is great, he's often rocking 2k, which would give him plus 3 aggression, which pushes... Okay, uh, also, that doesn't uh, impact that stat, so don't worry about that. As I would give it too many one towers, it would be more sad to the lower grade. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. I would go with the Markstrom. Don't worry about that. I've actually confirmed that in a video I did a couple months ago. Talk to the developers, and aggression doesn't impact on goaltenders. Brent Boudreaux. Hey, Sleeves. I have the 88 Hut Champs sod, the untradeable. Nice. As my right wing four and 90 flashback Marlowe as my uh, right wing three. I'm picking up a new first line right winger. Do I keep sod on the fourth and sell Marlowe or shift Marlowe to right wing? If I should sell Marlowe, how high of an overall would it take to force the untradeable sod out of my lineup? My team is 93 overall. Forwards are currently 90. I mean. Because he's untradeable and you can get some coins for Marlowe, I would sell Marlowe because the jump isn't significant. Um, Marlowe is the better player, in my opinion, than the Hut Champs sod, but I would for sure um, sell the Marlowe to upgrade. It because it's, and it's only your right wing, your, your bottom pairing, or your bottom line, so I think you're all right with that. Hey, Sleeves, I was wondering what I should do next. I was looking to either upgrade my second line center and sell my 90 All-Star game Weber, because I have an 88 Risto and also 89 Carlson, both untradeable. Here's my team. Also, is there any areas you suggest upgrading? So he's got 99, Mar or 99 Mario, Mika Zabinijad, Rantanen, Shanahan, Masters at Barkov, Gretz, Wheeler, Thornton, Malkin, Besser, Point, Bolsters. Your forward is fine, man. Like, there's really no need to upgrade it. Dougie. Uh, Garnett, Petrie, Salming, All Star Game Wetter, Bertrand. I would worry about getting a stud on defense, like one of the, like either the high end Headman um, or a high end Brent Burns, someone like that. Get get a stud defenseman because your first two, three lines are fantastic regardless. So you can you can get away with that. So um, yeah, I would go with finding a stud defenseman. Hey, Sleeves, thanks a lot for my question last video. No problem, dude. I ended up getting the 99 Ovi, and he's a beast. How are your thoughts on the 99 Team of the Season Panarin versus the 99, 97 Team of the Week Zabin and Jad Go Rangers? Uh, Zabin and Jad a bit bigger. Um, will obviously fit the meta in this game better. I would honestly just go with your favorite, though. Uh, they're both uh, you know, play going to play the same position for you. So uh, Zabin and Jad can play center, though, so that might break the tie. Um, but anyone, it doesn't matter, man. Gold icon Sackick or Forsberg? I prefer Forsberg, but I know a lot that she's Sackick. Uh, I would just go with who your favorite is and mine is Forsberg. I found the Artem and Isimov has gone up in price. Yeah, sorry about that, boys. <laughs> Used to see him go for 160. Now I'm only seeing around 200K. Hope you're not single handedly responsible. This looks like I'll be waiting longer to afford him. Sorry, boys. It looks like it's finally caught up. 200K is probably what I would value him at. He was going for like 130 when I started all these videos. Hey, man, thanks for answering all my questions. Should I go for the 91 McMichael or the 92 Spezza? Ooh, good question. I would go McMichael. I really didn't like that Spezza. I played, I had Spezza on my fourth line for a really long time. 92 Matthews or 91 Tavares? 100% Matthews. Tavares, outside of, um, outside of him, his high-end 90s cards, just too slow for the meta. Tyler Howard. Lawrence Howard, keep up the great content. I, I, thank you, man. I, I ended up upgrading my 89 line to 91 Kovalchuk. Thanks for the help in the last episode. It's a good upgrade, man. Brandon Kelly, watch all the vids. Got one last question. Is 98 Kovalchuk Ovechkin worth 250k more than 98 Bergeron? Uh, worth 250 more? Honestly, you're not going to notice a gigantic difference because their stats are almost the same, but you will when you're able to hold on to the puck and not get bumped off or able to just get the puck back whenever you want. So, yes, I would I would say. At this stage, 250K, yeah. From uh, Gaming and Darts, I've got to replace Donnie Martinez. Got about 150K to play with. This is packed another Benino. Should I choose the 93 Darlene, 93 Gustafson, 92 Mueller, or the 92 Low? I actually like the 92 Marco Mueller card. I would go with that one. Love the channel. What would you do to improve this team? Currently have 130K and trying to sell a 90K for around 100, so hopefully we'll have around 200K. Uh, Leish Lemieux Gabrick is X untradeable. Okay, I would sell this Leish for whatever you can get. Um, he's just not big enough. You can get far better players. Gabrick, uh, Bork, Spezza, Palmieri, Lucini, Robert, and JVR. Wheeler, Zaka, Hall. This is a good forward group. 
Uh, then he's got Ruel, who's that gigantic guy with 250 pounds. It's your defense you really need to focus on. So worry about upgrading uh, your right-handed or your, sorry, your left-handed defenseman. Go for like anyone that you're looking for. I believe Jake Gardner, I think, off the top of my head from the the playoff edition would be a decent one. Um, but yeah, these are where you need to upgrade. If you don't have, you said you have about 100k or 130. There's one in national cards that you can go for the left-handed defenseman for sure. I know many of them are small, but I'm able to say in Div 1... Oh, he's already answering this. Let's stay in with Think about upgrading my defense, obviously. Who would you pick? Maybe sell another Spence. Put 250k between two. Um, Mark, Martin... I, I Again, guys, I revert back to the same one because, again, I think that they are the best values of the card. Martin Morenson would be a really good option for you on defense from the Nations of Hockey event. Hey, man, love the content. I have the 93 Zetterberg... And collectibles to complete the set. Should I complete the set and make him 99 and then wait until the end of May and June to get a different 99 from Challenge? Or do I sell Zetterberg and pick up 95 Franz? And right now, they are both going for about 350k or a one lefty and get Z with the Challenge set. I'm a huge Red Wing fan, so I do like to pick up a Wings Flare, but defense is my worst part. Okay, for, again, man, please go get Zetterberg if you're a Wings fan. Uh, but your defense really does need to, uh, you know, get an upgrade. So get Zetterberg and then worry about, you know, replacing these guys. Like, we're getting a, a getting a really good left-handed defenseman here um, and then pushing someone down, okay? But for sure, get, get, go get Zetterberg. Hey, Slaves took your vice and sold the 91 McDavid stag, the 94 Besser for 100k. Was this a good choice? Yes, it was. I actually think, um, you know, um, Besser is, is a pretty good card. Um, um, should you have chosen anyone else? Um, for 180k, I mean, there might have been some other options, but Besser isn't a bad one, so. Andrew Smith, love the content, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. I have the team of the year, 99 Burns, um, 95 Bufflin, and Nation of Hockey Cider. Wow. Team of the season, Petrangelo clogging my left side. Big, but big buff bought big buff on a whim because his auction house price was too damn low to turn down. Now I'm kind of in a <laughs> FMK situation with buff cider Petrangelo. I'm leaning towards selling cider simply due to value the recommendations. Uh, okay, yeah, you can't get rid of Burns. He's the like literally the best right-handed defenseman in the game right now. Yeah, Bufflin, cider, and team of the season, Petrangelo. See, the cider is a very good card, but there are other options. The buff one I think you should keep. Yeah, I would probably sell ciders. Petrangelo is going to be fine for you as a replacement for sure. Yeah, I would sell cider. <laughs> Have a team update for your help. All caps equal untradeable. Okay, Nikas, uh, Gretz, Fogel, Kobolchuk, Primo, Verana. Carter, Pekka, Graves, Hyman, Goodrow, Marner, Ekblad, Pronk. Wow, good first pairing. Petrie, Coffee. Okay, his defense is stacked. I roughly have 435k coins. I recently upgraded the 89 to 90 with Kovalchuk. I'm now debating if I should sell 98 Ekblad as I recently pulled him from a 50k to further upgrade my forwards. If so, what price? Um. Okay, so I the price, that's going to be dictated by the market. Just go search that card. You can actually click on compare, and then it'll show you all of the Ekblad cards. I mean, but he's an endgame card. Like, you could have him for the rest of the game. You have 435,000 coins. You can definitely upgrade your You need to upgrade your wingers, okay? So just go and look at left and right-handed winger cards. Uh, if you want, in the next video, uh, hit me up on Twitter in that reply to that the tweet for this video and give me some options that you can choose between that you're looking for. But you can almost get, like, a master set player item, man. So um, you're in good shape, but your wings definitely need to be your focus here. I would keep back wide, though, because I think that that is a dominant first pairing for the rest of the game. Hey, man, thanks for answering all my questions. I have two for today. 93 Dry Seidel, 93 JVR, or the 93 Malkin. I would go the 93 JVR. Also, 94 Kessler or the 94 Anders Lee. Ooh, I would go Kessler because he's dominant on the draws. And, oh, God, I hate Kessler. That was a player. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Ran a little long. I hope it got to all your questions. Again, if you are looking to get your questions answered on this next video, I'm going to tweet this out on my Twitter, at NoSleevesGame. If you don't have Twitter, just make one. Take two seconds. You need to be on Twitter, not just for me, but for, like, anything in sports. If you're following the NHL, things like that, Twitter is fantastic. So don't be scared to make a Twitter account. Even if it is, just follow me. That's fine. I want to test something out here. So um, go and find. It'll be my pinned tweet. You click on my profile. The first tweet on the top will be the link for this video. Just reply to that tweet, 
with your questions the same way that this works, okay? We're going to try something a little bit different here for this next video, and then I'll go through in the next video all the questions from that Twitter thread um, as well. See if I can't pick some out from the comment section down below. But again, guys, thank you for all of the comments and the videos and the likes and the views and subscriptions. I really appreciate it. So hopefully I will see you guys on Twitter. Have a good one, guys.